Hey everyone, it's Ian from Mako Create, and in this video we're going to be looking at the ways that you can edit your own video for your vlog. So before we get started, I just want to say a massive thanks to WizKids for collaborating with us and making this video possible. This video is going to go on their brand new website where you'll be able to find loads of different activities like this one covering a range of different topics. So thank you very much for WizKids and let's get started. So the app that we're going to use today is called Power Director and it is available on Apple and Android devices and it looks a little bit like this. It's kind of got an icon of a camera and a film reel in the background. It's kind of a blue color. So what we're going to do is we're going to give that a press and it'll open up like this. It's kind of on the side because it's in portrait in my iPads the wrong way around. So it's going to open up like this and you just need to um, say accept and continue on that. And then there's going to be a few little tutorials and things like that that will pop up. And there'll also potentially be some warnings where it's going to want to ask to use your camera or your photo library. And we want to make sure that we say OK on those. It's just after the permissions and you just want to say OK. Otherwise, it's going to make your life a little bit harder. So. Um, the other thing to mention is that there will occasionally be the odd advert. Now, this is a completely free app. It has loads of great features. And one of the ways that the developer of this app makes their money is just with advert. It's a bit annoying, I know, but um, most of the time there'll just be a quick way to um, skip past those. So I'm going to skip past these real quick and we can get to our cross in the corner. And then there you go, right on cue. This is um, advert and our subscription model. You don't have to pay any attention to this whatsoever. You can just hit that back arrow in the top left hand corner. And then here we go. We're in our projects uh, window. So uh, exactly like we said, this is one of the things you don't have to accept notifications on this. So I'm going to say don't allow for that. That's absolutely fine. And then we're ready to start. So project name, name, we're going to create a vlog. So I'm just going to type in the my vlog and press enter. Now, when we're creating videos, something that you're going to need to pay particular attention to is um, aspect ratios. And it says here, the next option down is project aspect ratio. So if you think about which way you watch TV, for example, when you're sat down on your couch and you've got your TV, that is typically going to be 16 by nine. And what that means is it kind of, it's what we call landscape. It goes from left to right and it's wider than it is tall. Most of the time that is going to be your preferred option is 16 by nine, but new things like TikTok, Instagram stories, spin that on its head and we get this new nine by 16. So if you're doing something that's going to go out on mobiles and you want people to be holding their mobiles upright when they're watching your content, then that nine by 16 is going to be the one for you. And then we've got one by one, which is specifically for Instagram. Um, or maybe even Facebook, where it's just a complete square. But for this particular tutorial, I'm going to ask you to go for a 16 by 9. We're going to go for a traditional format. OK, so we click on that. And then this is our project view. Now, I'm using an iPad. This is one of those notices that I'm saying it's going to pop up. It'll just be a one time deal. It wants to access my photos. So I'm going to press continue and I'm going to say allow access to all photos. So what that means is now this app, Power Director, can have a look through all of the photos and videos that are on this iPad, which is perfect. So what I have done, or should I say what Paul has done for me, is he has gone away and filmed some footage for me to work with in this tutorial with you today. And that is what you're going to need to do at this point right now. So what I'll do is I'll show you what he's filmed. And then you can pause this video and go away and get some new footage for us. So um, what we're going to do is have a look at under recents. And you can see these are these three clips here that Paul's gone away and filmed for me. So I'm going to tap on that top one and I'm going to press play on that so you can see what it looks like. Hi everyone. Welcome to Paul and Buddy's video blog. In today's video, we're going to look at some of the cool things that I've been able to teach Buddy. Gonna learn some interesting facts about Buddy. 
and one of his favorite things to do. So, first things first, who is Buddy? Buddy is a Labradoodle, and that just means he is a Labrador crossed with a Poodle. And as you can tell, he's still a puppy, so he's teething at the moment, so he's, he's liking to bite and chew everything, and he's only happy when he's got something in his mouth. But other than that, he's been really, really cool. So some of the things I've been able to teach him are gonna be in this next clip. How cool was that? Being able to teach him to sit, Okay, so I'm going to pause it there and that gives you a little insight into the type of thing that you're going to need to do and hopefully it'll make sense in a little bit when we come to put it all together. But this is called your master shot. Okay, so this is the main shot that you're going to make up the bulk, the most of your vlog. So typically it's you talking to the camera and um, letting your audience know whatever information it is that is of interest to them. So whatever you're interested in, you talk directly to the camera and let your audience know everything about it. So Paul here is talking about Buddy, his dog. So I'm gonna go back on there. I'm happy with that. I want to add it into my project. Okay, so next up, we're gonna have some cutaway shots. So you saw that Paul started to talk and he said, let's have a look at the next clip, but it kind of didn't do anything. It just stayed there. Well, in another take, in another clip, he's gone away and filmed some extra stuff. So let's take a look at this one right here. Buddy, come here. Come here. Come here. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Can I have a paw shake? No. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. Good boy. Paw shake. Good boy. Yeah, you can see Buddy's doing really well, learning loads of tricks, which is fantastic. Now this is a perfect cutaway shot. So when Paul's talking about it in his master shot and says, now let's take a look at what he's been learning, we can cut away to this extra shot here, our cutaway shot. So what I'm gonna do is hit that add button and add that into my project as well. And you can see there's another clip here, which is just another cutaway. So I'm gonna add that in as well. So now I've got three clips in my timeline ready to be edited together. This is the perfect time for you to stop this video, have a little think and go away and film your master shot and your cutaways. And remember, it can be about anything that is of interest to you. Uh, you can use the regular camera app on your phone or your tablet. You don't need to, I don't even think you can film using Power Director. You just wanna open up the regular camera app, switch it to video and get filming. You might need a tripod, you might have a little kind of stand like I've got here on my tablet that you can prop it up or you might just wanna prop it up against a bookshelf or a book or something like that. But go away and start filming your footage and then when you are ready, just come right back here and we'll show you how to edit it all together. Okay, so fingers crossed you've gone away and you've filmed on your footage and now you're ready to start editing. So you've kind of gone through the process that I've done there, you've added your clips into your timeline. How do we change things around? Well, what you can do here is I'm just scrubbing. This is where you move your finger left and right on the timeline at the bottom of your screen. This is called scrubbing. And we can see all of those different clips that are in there now. I've added them in one by one and they're actually kind of in the wrong order. What we want to do is we want to start with our master clip, which is this one right here. So I'm just gonna tap on the end one. And what I'm gonna to want to do is tap and hold on that clip. And then I'm gonna drag it across to the edge of the, um, edge of the screen and fingers crossed, I should just be able to move that along. Now I'm gonna use a pinch, pinching gesture like that just to zoom out. I'm not actually changing the length of any of my clips here. I'm just zooming out so I can see a little bit more of what's going on. And I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna press and hold on that clip and I'm just gonna drop it at the beginning right there. So now you can see my project starts with our master clip. So let's press play on that. Hi everyone, welcome to Paul and Buddy's video blog. 
perfect it starts in exactly the right place now i'm quite lucky here because paul started that clip pretty much bang on there was no mistakes at the beginning there was none of him kind of pressing the record button on the tablet and then running and sitting down or anything like that but let's just pretend that we wanted to get rid of a little bit of the start where maybe there was a little bit of a mistake or something like that all you need to do is tap on the clip that you want to change and then it's just a case of dragging it in from the end now this is called a handle and we can just drag that in and we're not actually deleting anything we're just getting rid of the bits that we don't really want so i'm just going to shave a fraction off the start of that there like that so now you can see that my clip starts hi everyone welcome to paul exactly where we want it to start now you might only have a little bit you might need to get rid of a whole bit where you did the first bit wrong and that's the beauty of doing it this way is that you can just go make a mistake and trim it off or cut it out so what we want to do now is we want to find the bit of the clip where Paul starts to say let's take a look at what Buddy's been doing so let me just fast forward it a little bit and we'll press play from here and see what it looks like here is Buddy Buddy is a Labradoodle, and that just means he is a Labrador crossed with a Poodle. And as you can tell, he's still a puppy, so he's teething at the moment, so he's, he's liking to bite and chew everything, and he's only happy when he's got something in his mouth. But I'm just going to skip forward a little bit there. There we go, it's when Paul kind of points like that, because we're going to cut away to something, so let's play it from there. I've been able to teach him, I'm going to be in this next clip. Pause. There we go. When we go to this next clip, he's queued me up beautifully. So what we're going to do, we know that we need to insert our cutaway at this point. Okay, so what we're going to do, along the bottom, there is a tool called Split. And that does pretty much exactly what you'd expect. It's going to chop this uh, master clip in half, exactly where this line is in the middle of our screen, and that's called our playhead. So when we press that split uh, button, you can see now I've got a clip at the beginning and then everything after the playhead is now its own clip. So again, I'm gonna pinch, I'm gonna zoom out. And what I'm going to do is find the clip of Buddy doing all these fantastic tricks. And I'm gonna do what we did earlier on, but rather than dragging this clip right the way to the beginning, I'm gonna drag it where we just made that split, which is right there. Okay, so at the moment I've got that clip still selected. You can see there's that kind of turquoise colored box around the outside. So I'm just gonna tap anywhere on my timeline to get rid of that. And I'm gonna rewind it just a little bit. And hopefully now when we play it back, Paul's gonna go, let's take a look at this next clip. And then we'll jump to our cutaway. Let's take a look. So some of the things I've been able to teach him are going to be in this next clip. Buddy, come here. Come here. Come here. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Perfect. I'm really, really happy with that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to scrub to the end of that clip when we want it to finish. That's absolutely fine. And we're going to see how Paul comes back in from the cutaway. Okay, so let's just press play on that. How cool was that? Okay, so what Paul has very kindly done is he's given me some space. He's not just kind of finished one and gone straight into the next one. He's kind of sat there for a second or two knowing that there's gonna be a split. So he's give me room to edit with basically. So what we want to do now, because we don't want our audience to see him kind of sat there twiddling his thumbs, we're gonna get rid of that little bit. And it's kind of what I said a little bit earlier on. We're just gonna tap on that clip and we're just gonna drag that handle until we get to the point where we've actually got him talking back to the camera again, which is just about there. So, now let's see what that looks like and hopefully it'll be a much more natural transition between the cutaway and Paul's main shot where he's talking to the camera. 
How cool was that? Ah, now I did the mistake where I still had that clip selected. So when you've still got a clip selected, and it's in that turquoise box, every time you press play, yes. it's just gonna play that bit. It's a little bit of a quirk with Power Director. So what you need to do is just tap anywhere on the timeline to deselect that clip, and you can see that turquoise box disappears. And now we can rewind it and hit that play button. How cool was that? Being able to teach him to sit, high five. There you go. So we've not got any more of Paul kind of sitting there waiting for me to make the cut. It just goes from the cutaway back to what Paul was talking about there. And then we've got another little cutaway and it's just exactly the same kind of thing again. So let's just take a, a look and see what he says. Hi, Paul Shake. They're just a couple of his favorites. He's got a load of other tricks that he's learning at the moment as well. And next thing, Buddy loves playing football. So his favorite pastime is being out in the garden and running around with the football. So let's roll the next video for you to see. Expertly done by Paul there. So what we're gonna do is just do the same thing again. My playhead is exactly where I want to make my split. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the clip that I want to make the edit to. I'm gonna tap that split button again. So now we've got the start and the end. And then this little clip at the end here is my next cutaway. So I am gonna tap on that and I'm gonna drag it to where I've made that split. And so we're cutting away to Buddy playing football. So this kind of goes back to now where we were talking about that thing about aspect ratios. This next little bit of clip has been filmed using a phone that was held in portrait. So rather than it being 16 by nine, like your telly is now, the way that you're watching this video, it's been nine by 16, which means it's tall. And if we play this back, you'll see what I mean. Roll the next video for you to see. So you can see we've got these big black lines down the either side of our footage now. And it's fine, to be honest, nobody's gonna get too upset by it. But if you wanted to get rid of it, Power Director has a way. So we can tap on that clip that we want to work with. And what we can do is we can use the crop tool. So if you just scroll along and there's loads of different tools here in this toolbar along the bottom and we're not really going through all of them at all. We're just touching on a few of them. One of them is the crop tool. So if you tap on crop, what that lets you do is again, using your pinch, is that we can just choose the bit of this video that we want our viewers to be able to see. So I'm just gonna choose the middle bit like that. And we're gonna see what that looks like. Now, again, we're not deleting anything. We're not getting rid of anything or destroying it. We can always undo this crop if we don't like what we've actually done. So don't panic about making a mess of anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna tap on the crop icon again, just to confirm those changes. And I'm gonna tap anywhere on my timeline to deselect the clip that I've got selected at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is just scrub backwards, rewind a little bit just before Paul says, let's take a look. And then we'll see what that crop now looks like. The garden, I'm running around with the football. So let's roll the next video for you to see. Okay, it's a nice and short one that. It was kind of okay, but the crop at the beginning means that it's kind of looking at the grass and we can't see Buddy. So let's get rid of that little bit. So what I'm gonna do is just zoom in. I'm using my pinch. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna find the bit where Buddy's sort of more in the middle of the frame, which is just, I think we could probably start from around about there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on that clip and I could drag those handles in like we've done before, but I'll show you another way of doing the same thing right now. We're gonna tap on the split button again to do what we've done three times already now. So we've got our clip at the beginning and we've got our clip after the split now. I'm gonna to go to the bit at the beginning, which is actually the bit that we don't want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that clip, the bit that we don't want at the beginning. So what we need to do is we need to select it 
and then we just need to hit this bin icon on the left hand side so I'm going to get rid of that and now when we rewind it a little bit and see what that looks like it cuts to some zoomed in cropped footage of Buddy so we haven't got those nasty black lines down the left hand side and the right hand side and it kind of fills it uh, fills the full screen exactly like all the rest of the footage so it doesn't stand out you don't have to do that and I should make a point of saying that the more that you do that um, it's actually going to make the footage look a little bit grainy a little bit pixelated so you can't just do that all the time but sometimes you can get away with it and I think that that looks okay so the only thing that's left to do here right now is just to find the end of this clip make sure that it's ending the way that we want it to end so let's press play here Five. okay so Paul's kind of done his sign off he's done a little wave but then there's a bit where he's kind of shuffling on the couch getting ready to stop the clip so let's get rid of that bit so again let's find the bit where he's waved and he's ready to stop which is there and again I'm just going to tap on that clip and I'm going to instead this time I'm going to drag that handle in until we get to the bit that we're after which is right there so I've got rid of that bit of him shuffling on the couch and then that's it so obviously this is the footage that I'm working with you'll have your own footage the main thing to do is to just get your main shot your master shot where it's you talking to the camera and then have your cutaway shots when it is that you're talking about something that is of interest to you so if you're talking about baking it makes sense to cut away to the ingredients if you're talking about your favorite artist or comic book character cut away to pictures of the artist or the comic book character for example okay so when you've got your footage to look like mine where you've cut away and you've got it and you're happy and everything and this is now ready to go online what we want to do is we want to share this project out so how do we do that we're going to tap on this button in the top right hand corner it kind of looks like a film strip with an arrow pointing to the side we're going to tap on that and then from here we've got a few different options you can just share directly to facebook or onto youtube what I'm going to suggest is that you save it to your camera roll, to your photo library to begin with, because then it's there and you can share it to lots and lots of different places. So press save to gallery, you get the option to rename it and you get a few different size options as well. Now remember this is a free app, so if you want to save it in full HD 1080p, which is super, super high res, or even 4K, which is even better, then they are paid for features. But HD 720 is still absolutely fine. So you can just rename it there and press produce. And again, it's gonna give you adverts and things like that, but you don't need to subscribe to them or anything like that. We're just gonna press that back arrow. And power director must stay in the foreground until producing is complete. So we're gonna press okay. And we're gonna let it do its thing. We're not gonna go away from this app all of a sudden start playing Minecraft or anything like that. We just need to wait. So let's come back when this is finished. Okay, excellent. My video has finished rendering or sharing. Um, it's important to note at this stage as well, mine kind of sped through really fast then because if we edit it together that way, that might take a really long time for you. If you've produced a long video, something about uh, video editing that you should know is that process can take quite some time. So if you wanna go and have a break, grab a drink, something like that, just leave your iPad to do its thing, okay? Um, so we've got an option now we can play it back if you want to play it back and that's probably going to be a good idea before you upload your video to YouTube for the world to see or wherever it's going you want to play it back make sure it is exactly the way that you want it to be sometimes there can be like minor little errors and glitches when something's been saved um, issues with audio or anything like that it's always a good idea to play it now and then you can go back and fix things and do it again if you need to. So I would say press that play now button to review your footage. Uh, let's just take a quick look at mine. Hi everyone, welcome to Paul and Buddy's video blog. We won't go through it again. 
because we know how it looks, um, but I'm happy with that. And then that is now in my gallery, my photo library for me to use however I see fit. So um, that is everything that I want to show you in this video about PowerDirector. As I mentioned, there's loads of different tools in there and I invite you to play with them um, if you want to. But just in terms of putting something fairly simple together, um, that's how you can do that using this fantastic app. Um, I hope this has been useful for you. I really, really would love to see some of the stuff that you make. So if anything does end up online, be sure to tag us, uh, Make or Create UK on your social networks and also let WizKids know as well. Just on the mention of WizKids, thank you once again for making this video possible. It's been so much fun to put together for you. Hope you've enjoyed it and we will see you next time.